Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the third episode of the Matchstick mini series and today we're going to talk about uh, some other helper methods that I didn't show in the last video because it would have been too long. Now, um, picking up where we left from the last one, um, there is actually a way, let, uh, let me just remove the logging test to not clutter our output and this one. We will just leave the simple test here. So there is a way of setting up sort of a initial store before you run your handlers. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So instead of running this new Gravatar event and saving entities that way, we can actually just create a uh, Gravatar entity like this. Uh, it's a bunch of yeah, import gravity with an ID. And uh, this just creates a, just a really basic um, entity. And what we can do is we can just do gravatar.save. And there we go. That's how you can add entities to the store before you run your handlers. Uh, let me just, mm, so now how, how do we test that this is actually okay? Well, the simplest thing is log store. We've seen log store in a previous video. We can just go ahead here and do log store. And let's just remove uh, our handler function here um, so that we can just see if this thing gets saved. So we do yarn test. Okay, there we go. We actually see that there's a gravatar with this ID already in the store before we've run any sort of handlers. Now, the next thing I want to take a look at is the um, assert workspace, but a little bit more in depth because so far we've just spoken about how to use it in order to check, um, to check fields on entities that are in the store, but it actually comes with, it, it comes with much more things. So we can say, um, let's just name this test assertions. So we can say assert dot and see we have field equals. We have equals. Uh, we have not in store. Uh, we can assert null. We can assert address equals, array equals, all of these helper methods for different types. Uh, we can assert true, big int equals, boolean equals, bytes equals, a lot of things really. Um, and let me just say, yeah, I32 equals one and one. Um, there's really a lot you can you can play around with string equals tuple equals so really this this really comes in handy when you want to for instance check um, when you want to when you want to get a um, entity from the store and you want to check um, on its value if it equals the thing you want it to equal uh, and 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 all of that. Um, so I guess that's everything that I wanted to show you uh, in this uh, in this video. Just a bunch of helper methods that we didn't cover uh, in the last one. Oh, there's just one more thing. Um, sometimes you want to load, you want to pass in a lot of events, not just one. You want to pass in, say, an array of events through a handler function. Well, you can do that, and it's actually pretty easy. Uh, let's just say um, handle mul multiple events. And then we can give it our callback and we can say, um, let's just say let events. And then we can, we can actually add a bunch of events. So um, let me just take something for, let me just take something for uh, inspiration here. Uh, we can do, so we can, we can say new Gravatar event and another Gravatar event. And we can have both of them here. And then what we can do is we can have a, uh, we can actually define a function called handle new gravatars. And it expects a, um, an array of new gravatar events. So once we have this, we can say, all right, handle new gravatars events. There we go. Now test and it should compile fine. One last thing, at the end of our test block, it is absolutely imperative to have the 
clear store method, just so you can start off on a clear, uh, on a clean slate in the next test. So as you can see here, we're doing some stuff, but we don't want these entities to stay in the store. So at the end of the test block, we will just do clear store. And that will start us off on a clean slate in our next test. That's all I have for you guys in this episode. So see you in the next one.